Hey guys and welcome for a new video. Today we are doing my beauty tips and tricks. So I hope you're really gonna enjoy that video because I put all my heart inside. So it's gonna be divided in five categories. Lips, eyes, hair, hands and feet because that's kind of the areas where we are struggling the most when it comes to beauty. So let's get started. I'm not gonna be really long in the intro, shall we? So my first tip for lips is actually to scrub them. I know this is not something like magical, everybody knows about that, but that's something that we always forget to do. So for instance, I don't have my scrub with me because yeah, I don't scrub that very often, that's really bad. So mine is uh, the one from Lush and that's the popcorn scent. I uh, don't know if it's actually a limited edition one, but no matter what is the scent that you like, uh, when you buy one of those, which is around five, six pounds, well, it's a really huge investment. You're gonna keep that pot for ages. So try to invest in a good scrub. That's all I have to say and use it at least three times a week, which is a good average. Then my second tip for uh, your lips, it's actually to bite them. That sounds really stupid, but that will actually kind of make your natural collagen active and make them a little bit plumber. So try to do that before applying your uh, lipstick or whatever you're putting on your lips and you will see how crazy it works uh, so just trying to yeah gently bite them and you'll see the difference it will work it's natural collagen so why not then my third one uh, is to use a balm overnight so that sounds really stupid but uh, that works so mine is really working really well that's the Carmex vanilla it's a really good one I really like I prefer um, lip balm in uh, sticks like that instead of pot because I don't like to stick my fingers and stuff and you don't know what to do with the excess so it's really awkward so yeah use it put a lot over your lip and put that on I swear that's really great and the taste is amazing it's vanilla it's my favorite scent then move on to eyes for eyes I have as well three tricks so the first one is when you use your eye cream uh, try to make sure that you actually use it as a mask that can sound really stupid, but mine is the Kind to Eyes Revitalizing Eye Roll-On from Simple. So what I do when I put it under my eyes, I let it sit for like four to five minutes, you know, so it's before I put on my cream or whatever, I just actually work on my eye area first. So when you do your breakfast in the morning, when you know you boil the kettle or you do your toast or whatever, just put it under your eyes, let it sit, then remove it gently by massaging it and then, you know, apply the rest of your cream. That's my first tip. The second tip is makeup related. So use a lightest shade under your eyes to cover, you know, uh, the greenish, purplish, whatever the color of your veins under your eyes. So I use the Lasting Perfection Concealer for Collection 2000 and it's a really good one. The coverage is amazing, the price can be bitten and um, that's just really great. So it's a little bit lighter than my usual shade and I think it's a really good tip. Then the last one for eyes, I mean I use that as well all over my eyelid as a primer and I think it's a really like cheap alternative to a eye primer because I've been so disappointed with all the eye primers in stores, in drugstores or in high-end related that this solution is the best for me at the moment so that's a really nice trick and that will make your makeup sit longer and last longer and I mean everything will be even so try it out and let me know Hair! Well for short hair related because I cannot really talk for people with long hair so uh, the f my first trick is to actually dry them with a paper towel I know that's not ecologic but uh, you can only use one just to make sure that, that you remove the excess of actually you know moist in your hair before you you know blow dry them that's a really good trick and that really works and you will you know it will make your blow drying like you know routine go faster with that so if you're on the ecologic point well use one of those towels they're really great they're like anti-static kind of towels i'll put i try to put a link below if i found a website that's selling them because they're really great so you can wash them in the washing machine and they will actually remove all the moisture from your hair i use it on the cats here so 
that's a really good one. When the cat's going out and it's wet, you know, it's raining and stuff, when I put it over the cat because it's a really fluffy cat, well, they remove all the moist and everything from the fur of the cat. So I use it, not the same towel, but on my hair as well, and that's amazing, trust me. And my second tip is to use a leave-in conditioner. So that can sound stupid, but not a lot of people use it. So I have two to show you. So I use them not every day. So one day is one, the other day is another one. So you know what I mean? So the first one is a Sheer Blonde John Frida one. So it actually said that, um, uh, it, you know, help your hair staying blonder and not going fading in a kind of yellow color. So it's a really good one, I'm almost done, so it's a really good thing and um, it's a heat protecting thing, so it's written on the bottle, so it actually helps. And this one is uh, the budget friendly one, I've talked about, I've talked about it in many videos, um, that's the Coconut the Almond Leave-In Conditioner, uh, that's for every type of hair, I would say, it's said normal to dry hair, but honestly um, it will fit everyone, the smell is amazing and it's one something for the price, so that's really cheap. And that's from Boots, and I love it. Just love it. It makes everything smoother, and it helps a lot to actually style your hair once they are dry. So I love it. Then the last tip ta -ta -ta, is to actually use a strainer uh, to do curls to your hair. So the hairstyle I have today, I made it with my trainer I don't own a curler I know a lot of youtubers like beauty girl raving about like beauty wands and stuff like that but it costs a lot of money like the new me one come on I know that they have coupons and stuff but there is other other alternatives especially when you want a messy like you know style so I think it's a really good one and it's affordable mine is the Babyliss one and um, I think it was 25 quid so they're worth the money you can use them both to straighten and both to curl and that's just, just amazing. Then on the hands category, I have two tricks. The first one is um, I used to um, use a cuticle like cream on my cuticles, but um, I ran out of it and it's a Sally Hansen cream that you can only find in the US. It's been really sad, so there is no alternative here. Like, I mean, a good one. Um, then um, I had an idea. I just put my hand cream on my cuticles. So what I do is that I put creams just right here, you know, at the edge of the nail. Just a little bit like I was doing with my cream. Um, then I put it on all the nails, I let it sit like for 5 minutes. And after I remove it gently with a uh, paper towel or whatever you're using. And that's really great, that really helps to smooth your cuticles to remove them easily. And that's a really cheap uh, solution because you all have hand creams at home. So, but I recommend to use a really thick one. Mine is the hand food from Soap and Glory because it's thick. But as long as it's thick, you can use it your body butter if you want. You can use your um, the best one are the Body Shop one because they're really thick. But as long as it's thick, trust me, it will work and it will leave your nails smelling really nice after that. So that's a plus. Then that's not a trick, that's actually something that you have to uh, buy, but that's really amazing. That's the Kiko Nail Polish Fixer. I've been loving that for a long time. My mom actually uh, made me discover that and that's amazing. You actually spray it once you, you've done your uh, manicure and it helps to dry. And that's five quid something. And it lasts for quite a while, I would say you have two, three months in that if you are painting your nails regularly, I mean, you know what I mean. So uh, that's really great. I know that Kiko is not everywhere, but they have a website, I think. I don't know if they ship internationally. I will put a link below if you want, if you are really interested in that product. Another trick, that's not a trick, that's a warning. Um, when you are actually uh, painting your nails and you're doing manicures, um, but on another side you're obsessed with keeping your hands really clean, well, don't use gels on your nails, I mean not that often, try to actually wash your hands the old-fashioned way with soap because the alcohol inside are just making your nails, well, drier and that they will chip easily, trust me, it's just, I, I just realized that and uh, I love actually hand sanitizer because um, I'm a smoker so I love to uh, remove the smell from my hands but I also love my manicures and I realized that, yeah, there is alcohol, so that doesn't help at all to keep your manicure last longer. So yeah, that's a warning. Sorry about that. 
For your feet, I have three tips. First one is to use a cream, a foot cream, on your feet regularly. Every day will be really great. Mine is the Boots one. It's an amazing cream. It smells amazing as well. And trust me, on feet, that's a big helper. Not that my feet stinks, just to let you know. It's just like, you know, that's not the glamorous part of your body. Anyway, so this one is with mint, lavender, and marshmallow. And that actually, oh my god, it's just, ha. Huh. I have a lot of problem with my feet. That's why it's a category in that video. And I wanted to help people out there that have problem with their feet. Um, I work in retail, so trust me, um, that's an issue that I have to deal with every day. So cream helps a lot. And uh, it prevents from having hard skin underneath your feet, you know. So it's just... A really good thing you're not allowed to have the same cream but try to actually moisturize your feet as well because that's a part that we tend to forget in the morning then if you're working um, on your feet during your whole shift well I have a stupid trick but that actually works a little bit to you know make you feel a little bit better at the end of the day uh, so it's to bring two pair of shoes so for example if you're working in really nice but really not comfy shoes like those ones. For example, I've worked in that shoes and trust me, during eight hours, that's not a win-win situation. Well, um, I do have my Vans slip-on to actually put on uh, on my way back home and on my way to work. And actually that helps out. I feel so relaxed when I put my shoes on at the end of my day. And uh, because it's hard to be on your feet and change your shoes is really important. Then my last trick is to actually uh, scrub your feet. So there is a lot of scrubber out there in the world. So I uh, will use them if you can. But you can use your own one if you want uh, by using one lemon, two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of honey. Uh, try to mix it all together really well and just scrub your feet. It's a homemade one that will make your feet smells really great. And um, you can keep it, make a lot, put it in a jar and you can actually keep it to up to two weeks. And it's a really good trick and it's inexpensive. Everybody's got those um, items at home. Well, that's it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed that video. I really hope you enjoy my tricks and tips. Uh, I will try to make another video with other parts of the body or, you know, other beauty tricks that are not related to the body, if you know what I mean anyway. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you really liked it. Follow me on social media and subscribe, which is like the main thing. If you have any comments, put them below. You know the drill. And uh, that's it. I'm gonna let you go. Uh, have a nice day. I hope you really enjoy my springy summerish outfit. I felt that it was time to actually put a pop of color in my videos because um, I'm tired of winter. You cannot imagine. Have a nice day. I'll see ya. Bye.